this out. We're going for a ride in a 1961 Bel Air. This is the four door model. It's got power brakes and power steering. Date code correct, 283. AC compressors hooked up. We'll be checking to see if it works. Aluminum radiator. And this should be fun, guys. So we're in Hendersonville, Tennessee, about 15 minutes north of Nashville at a place called Maple Motors. Go to our website, maplemotors.com. 100 detailed pictures, financing, shipping is available. And we're also putting out new cars every week. All right, guys, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before I take off down the road, we'll look around the interior and place your bets. Do you think the horn works on this one? Let's start it up. It's actually the first time I started this up. So when I'm doing these videos, I go grab my cameras, I walk around it, decode the motor, and then I start. So that's as far as I've gotten with this one. Like I said, first time sitting in the driver's seat. It used to be a column shift car. Now it's got the floor shifter, which I love that version. Let's go ahead and try the air. Compressor just kicked on. Blowing quite hard. How cool is it? I don't know yet. Go to the cool side. Okay, you twist it this way for cool. Radio, does it work? It might. Tuner? No. Sounds like radio is working. Uh, air is not cold right now. I mean, so we're gonna cut that off. That feels pretty warm. The cool pack, not very cool. Okay, there's off. Wipers? Nothing going on with those wipers. This the choke. Yep. All right, so it's hooked up. The original blower is working. It's also working, cool. All right, turn signals. Left side and right side are blinking. Showing 22,000 miles, ooh, triple threes. So far, so good. Interior looks nice and clean. I'm loving the green. It's very minty in here. It's very fresh. <laughs> Headliner is nice and clean. Light is not working, but the cover's there. Now, did you place your bets on the horn? Works on both sides. Pretty sweet. Let's hit the road. See how she runs and drives. All right, we're going to hit the road now. I guess we're going to the gas station because I got a quarter tank and I'm not trying to run out. We'll see if that gas gauge works. Now, I'll loosen it up too much. Let's hit it. Squeaky belt there. Again, first time driving this car. Anything I see, you'll know about it. I feel it's best to do it this way. Here we go. Power steering's got a little jump to it. It may need a belt tightened up. And on down the road. Good shift there. Tight steering though. As far as going down the road, let's try to straighten her up again. We have a left pull. She's got a very gradual left pull. Need to tighten my visor up too. Which I've got my screwdriver so I can tighten that up. It's a Phillips head. Yeah. Sometimes you can push it forward and they'll stay too. Kick down's hooked up in the car right now for a bit. Let's get into these brakes. Okay, the brakes are stopping steady and straight there. They don't feel too bad. There's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna get into them right here. Stop pretty fast. Not bad at all. It looks like the engine temperature is starting to come up on the dash, and our speedo is working, but it's doing a lot of bouncing. Same with our gas gauge. Just back and forth around a quarter tank. I'm gonna go ahead and say it works. But I'll probably put a little bit of fuel in it up here. Try to get it up to half a tank. Something in the trunk just rolled around. Got a good shift there. Speedometer seems pretty accurate.
Okay, the suspension's pretty soft on this one. Feels good. Guys, we're gonna pull up to the pump, get some fuel, and I'll be right back. All right, got about twenty dollars worth of premium fuel in this ride. You put it in right here in the gas can. Boom. And jumping in here, starting it up. Gas gauge jumped up to half a tank. It is working. Let's keep rolling. All right, here we go. Getting ready to take off. Yeah, so far, pretty good running a driving car here. Rolling out of the parking lot. We got a good temperature on the dash. Uh, I noticed the suspension on this one, a little squeaky. Like you can hear that's the suspension in the back. I thought something was rolling around. Definitely making the popping noise from suspension and I'm gonna get into it so you can hear it of course that's when you got the body roll coming back and forth it doesn't seem to do it when I'm hitting the brakes just when we're first taking off and I get into the gas really hard good cruiser here like I said it's pretty smooth going down the road as well all 
the whole car feels tight. I think the only thing I seen was that suspension in the back. Let's go ahead and do it again. So I come to a stop and then I'll get into it. As the car is going back, that's when it's making that noise. It won't do it again when you're going down the road, so. I'm all right. We're right around the corner from Maple Motors. We're going to picking out the flaws. It's coming up next, so stick around for that. That's where I'm gonna walk around the whole car, look for chips, scratches, rust, dents. We're gonna listen uh, to the motor under the hood. We're gonna pop the trunk back there. And of course we do this with every ride. And I do this every day. With your help, I can keep doing this. So hit subscribe, share this video, and thank you for watching. I'll be right back with picking out the flaws. All right, picking out the flaws. Anything I see, you'll know about detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Let's get started on the lower portion of this car. Coming around the front bumper here, you can see the bumper is in great shape. Beautiful, along with the headlight bezels and the grill. Just looking fresh and so clean there. Coming around this side, up and over the fender, down these lower portions. You got some chips in the corners car's in good shape little scuffs on some of your trim there a couple dings it's kind of pulling away there a little chip up top Door handles in good shape. Both of them. This car's beautiful. Loving the paint job. Front windshield looks awesome. Very big. Your mirror here has got a little bit of pitting on it. Still in good shape. Round your windows looks good. The roof on this one is in good shape. Little spots there in the corner. Coming around to the back. Bumper on the back of this one is in good shape. Dual exhaust, both sides. In your trunk here, it hasn't been sprayed over or made up pretty raw looks good it's not all rusty let's look under this you got some surface rust under here looks like that can be cleaned up uh, new insert for the glove box package tray there The seal and your jams look good. Coming down with it, very easy. It's already shut. Your tail lights are in good shape too. Coming down this side, lower portion. Oh, 
stains there, all that should come out with a good buff. Chips down here at the bottom. Slight bubbles right here. Coming back your midsection. Little spot here. Couple little dings right here. You can see it's kind of pushing out. You got some dents in the back here. And that trim. Up over the top. You got some cracks right there in your rubber around that vent window. Old looking glass there. Little spot here, a chip in the corner there. Your front windshield on this one's in good shape. The trim looks good all the way around. And the roof here looks good. I'll tell you what, we made it around this ride pretty quick because it didn't have that many flaws. What I did see, I did show. Let's go ahead and check out the interior. The interior, like the door panels and the seats are in great shape. You could tell somebody redid them. Bottom of that door's in good shape. Your carpet in this one's got a few little dark spots. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Your seat in this one looks pretty good. Interior looks great. You know, a little sticky spot in the back here. Looks like some tape. I'm sure it'll come off. Got it in the middle there, too. Headliner in this one. Looks pretty good. Went ahead and starting her up. jump out of here pretty quiet motor sounds good Coming on down with this hood. Comes down very easy. It's already shut. We made it around it. I appreciate you watching. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. That helps me out quite a bit. Chipping and financing is available. MapleMotors.com under detailed pictures. And of course, we get new rides every Monday. If you like the music, you can jump over to Southgate Production. That's one of my music channels, outlets where I uh, share original songs that I wrote myself. And that's in every one of these videos at the beginning or below in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.